I don't know. I feel like I feel like cats. Uh, they they go at their own speed, and I don't like that. I love like the the you loyalty like and companionship. Being dependent on you. I like the loyalty and companionship that a dog offers. Yeah. It seems like a little red flaggy. You are you saying that <laughs> dog people <laughs> have red their <laughs> red flag? Yeah, because you want to be dependent? because. It, Do you want something to drink? Sorry, I'm quiet. Uh, no, I'm good now. Yeah, you gotta yell. Hello? Yeah, we got we got chatters in here already uh, doing the... Just end the stream and take her out to a nice Italian dinner. What the f*** are you doing? Like, that sort of shit, because they're fucking creepy and weird. I don't wanna. Yeah. Italian food. Can you offer Maya a drink, an extra cushion if she needs it, and ask if she's okay, if she needs a foot rest, etc. Shaking my head basic stuff. Do you ever get annoyed? Do you ever get annoyed with like, I mean, that person is memeing, but do you ever get annoyed with simps on the internet? It used to, my community used to be so different. I used to have way more and now they just shit on me. So you prefer the simps to people shitting on you? No. Obviously. No, no. Do you feel like it comes from the same place? Like, cause I feel like it yes. still comes from like otherizing a woman. Like either they're infantilizing you right. and saying that you can't like advocate for your own best interest or they're like, you, you're a woman, you're a whore. It, the worst of it is, okay, not that aggressive. Okay. The people, <laughs> the people that shit on me, um, the ones that do it the most are the ones that are like overcompensating for liking me as a streamer and they're like, can't like woman, no compliments for woman, only, you know? What? <laughs> Sorry. That's what was Forget it. I, I, Forget it. Uh, Chad heard me. Sorry. Uh, I think Glenn Greenwald just called me, a, a implied that I called him a uh, oh. on Twitter. He's a incredibly famous Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize winning uh, NatSec reporter that I used to love and admire. And now he's like a boomer whose brain is broken and goes on Jimmy Dore's broadcast and cries about shit all day long. And I think he's like trying to imply that I called him a or something. So when I saw that briefly, I, I, my brain boomed for a second. Do you need to handle that? No, it's fine. Let's do, fuck that. Yeah, he's a lunatic. No one cares. Um, Dude, your life's so stressful. Yes, it's not Oh great. my God. Yeah, don't show your phone screen, by the way. Make sure. Make sure Maya's careful with her phone screen showing. Good, good chat. So can you rerun that again? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm going to listen. Said, I'm hyper-focused. Okay. I have ADHD, but I'm hyper-focused. There, there used to be a bunch of simps, and then they turned into, they just shit on me. Not all, of, not all of them. But the ones that shit on me the most, probably shit on me the most, because they're overcompensating for liking me. And they're like, I can't like a female streamer. I hate this female streamer. Ooh, that's an interesting analysis. You know what I mean? But it's always, it's not like actually mean like incels. It's like, they just, you know. They like what do they say? Around. Actually, we shouldn't even talk about that. Dumb right? bitch. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid, ugly bitch. That's not what they say. Okay. Are we going to talk about the time person of the year today? We can. Do you mind talking about like some news? Not like crazy sure. news coverage. I don't know cause... anything about news. Okay, good. You can ask questions. Someone said, someone in the chat said elementary school flirting, and I agree. Yeah. It is kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. In elementary school, I used to flirt with boys by pulling them to the ground by the back of their shirts. Oh, so you were you were an aggro flirter too? Yeah. Beat their ass? Yeah. Okay. Vin clip? No, we're not gonna watch the Vin Diesel clip. Um. Okay. Okay, we're not gonna do we're not gonna do uh what do you call it the Glenn Greenwald tweet? So please don't. I'm not gonna do that with a guest here, especially one that isn't brain rotten and brain broken like I am. So we're not gonna do that. S fans coming soon too, if I'm uh. not mistaken. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, li I, I, I lied. I had to lie to her and literally tell her, like, S-Fan's definitely not coming. And she was like, oh, good. Why did you bring that up? Is he even here in Los Angeles? I was like, no, I don't know. I just wanted to specify that he's not coming. Just kidding. He absolutely is. Hassan, Get fucked. Hassan messaged me earlier and he goes, S-Fan's coming. And I just responded, ew. And, and Hassan goes, wait, for real? Fuck, what happened? I was like, no, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, wait, I thought it was serious for a second. I was like, damn. Oh, I hate that man. Yeah. Just kidding. S-Fan is right here. 
Oh, all along. God. Yeah. That's ethnic that's Santa. That's really creepy. Wait, what? You don't like ethnic Santa? There you go, racist. Hey! Got him. Relax. Got him. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter, do your thing. Okay. Ethnic Santa is all encompassing. Yeah, you don't like Italians? Please. That's on. <laughs> Let's watch the bird video. Okay. Mic check. What the f no shot. Mike. Did this parakeet just say parakeet pussy like paracussy? Did he? I just heard beatboxing. Is that for real? You think that can parakeets do that? Mm -hmm. Is this a parakeet? Yep. Why is it farty? <laughs> I don't know. It's just imitating noises. Maybe she's a gassy person. Damn, you think you, you think she's just farting all the time and the parakeet's just like, this is my imitation of you. Could be. Do the ritual JRE clip? I'm worried about it. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. They have that kind of range. They can like say that. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of them do though. That's crazy. Okay. We can do animal facts. Animal? Oh, you want to hear something crazy? Let's hear it. Bed bug reproduction. Oh, yeah. That's what you were talking about, like gallons of semen, gallons right? Of se okay, so, all right, chat. Look, bed bugs, right? They have a, a stabby penis, right? So one that they, Very they weird. stab with. Um, and they don't even aim for female gen genitalia. They can stab her, inseminate her anywhere on her body. Because <gasps> there, are, there are canals within that female, within the carapace, to take the semen where it needs to go. So, they stab anywhere to, to inseminate. Crazier, 50% of, of the population that they do is homosexual. 20% is cross-species. 30% is with female bed bugs. Wait, they're just f***ing everything. Everything. And I was like, oh. Wait, what, like, cross-species, like what? Like, is it trying to inseminate me and shit? I don't know. I think You don't know who they're fucking? Who are they f I don't know. Who are these bed bugs <laughs> I don't know. I don't and know. And why is it not me? Ew. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Fifty percent is homosexual. I was like, why? Like they can they can't tell between male and female bed bugs? Wrong. They can tell. What happens when a male bed bug inseminates another male bed bug is that semen goes into the male, gets combined with his semen. When he inseminates the next female, she gets a combination of both. Does that make sense? No. Really? No, that doesn't make sense at all. All of that is confusing to male me. Male bed bug fucks other male bed bug, inseminates male bed bug. That stabbed bed bug inseminates female, and she gets both sperms, so they have to compete within that female. So, the bed bug that stabs the most things the fastest, they can copulate over 200 times in a day. No, I, I, I got it. You asked me if it makes sense. Yeah. And I feel like you that's... Said no. <laughs> no, well, I mean, it, it's just... It, it doesn't make sense in the same that in the way that like it does make sense i i understand it but like also it's ungodly you want it gets crazier oh what the f okay <laughs> there's a they're cum stacking that, there's what that's cum stacking that's a real cum stack what's a, what's that a cum stack is when you we used to meme about this back in the donny days uh four guys get together and just basically talk about obscure shit but the actual cum stacking is when you, you know, I guess come into like a, you just like mix and match cum from different people and have them compete. Compete for what? What do you do with Inside it? Inside of a egg. Where do you get the egg? What do you mean? I don't understand. I don't understand. Know. <laughs> I, don't understand. I, I don't know. Oh, cum stacking is when you eat herbs and chemicals and any means to build monstrous quantities of ejaculate cum. Okay, speaking of which, good segue. So, there is a tropical species of bed bug that can shoot ejaculate several centimeters. They're only like a centimeter long. So I did the math, and it's about the equivalent of a human male at six feet tall producing eight gallons of semen and shooting it over 12 feet. But, remember how I said that they can, they can inseminate anywhere in the female's body? They shoot it with a velocity to pierce through the carapace of the female. It literally snipes her. From centimeters away. That's disgusting. So, six foot tall men, eight gallons of semen, 12 feet away. Male bed bugs are canceled. Honestly, yeah. It's pretty fucked up. Pretty crazy. They're just fucking, yeah, rail gun cock is right. That's insane. When people talk and debate extensively without 
an end decision and or action. For example, Tony, Nino, and Buddha. However, it's not the same without Donnie. Donnie used to come stack Sag. Someone wrote, when four dudes circle jerk over different ideas and, in, uh, and never resulting in final consensus, there goes Tony Lang, Don, and Nino come stacking over what the next move is. This is an account dedicated to... What's your name? On Urban. On what? Dictionary. Oh. Like... I've never done this before. <laughs> okay, this is like... What? Hassan will be the best person you have ever met. When you first see him, you be thinking he'd be some kind of angel. His dark hair and cinnamon skin, his deep brown almond eyes will seem like a gift from heaven to you. As soon as you get to know him deeper and better, you will realize your first impression was right. His personality is shaped by his experiences in life, both good and bad. This is so cringe. Hassan is just too amazing to be described in words. First of all, he has the looks that anyone can ask for. The best person to ever walk on the face of this... What the... F is this normal for everyone? I don't know. This one's better. It's a Hasanabi. It's a special kind of stun lock where a hot Turkish Twitch streamer sees a take he doesn't like and it causes him to stop everything for two hours and yell at chat. It'll start calmly, but before you know it, things get scary and he nearly has a heated gaming moment. Did you see a sample of Hasanabi earlier? He almost ended stream. That's damn. That was posted on May 5th. Hassan Piker, a person who regularly browns out or shits himself. I just shit myself, says person one. Person two, nice one, poo poo piker, <laughs> weird champ. Hassan Piker is a Turkish male who suffers from severe microcephaly. What is that? OMG, look at that guy at the dumbbell rack. His head is so tiny. Jesus, that must be Hassan Piker. Hey, Hassan Piker, how do you feel today? Just want to spill some capitalist blood. Hassan Piker, a law-abiding streamer who will respect Twitch bans. He also hosts the show Agiprop on TYT. Dang it, Hassan Piker got banned again. Okay, let's do yours now. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay, people have just, like, wrote... People wrote, like, yeah. crazy nice things for every name, I think. Maya is one hell of a person. She might seem quiet. She might seem qu quite... She might seem quite at first... You know that's a person, it says Quincy, but like she wrote Quincy to throw us off the scent. We know that that's like a Maya who wrote that. Sure. You know what I mean? For sure. Um, Look at my first and last name. Uh, are you ready for this? I haven't died. I don't think there's anything there. There's probably nothing there. Oh God. Okay. Maya High is a streamer on Twitch. She has many different, she has of, she has many of different names like Bird Girl and Zootard. It's been a while since I've heard that one. People call you Zootard? Yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> she hates to be told to she hates to be told to calm down and actively rages at it. It's like, okay. Uh, she's very below average and CSGO and doesn't understand that a 12 year old wrote this. I think. They meant you're below average at CSGO, not yeah. you're below average and CSGO. They didn't add CSGO in there randomly. And Dude, we're like, that was 2019 someone wrote that. Yeah, and doesn't understand wow. that 10 hours in a game won't make you good. But she has a kind heart for the wildlife community and we all love her for it. You look like a girl that needs to calm down, Miss Kiff. That's a real quote. Yeah, why do people happy? Wrote this in August 23rd, 2019. Yeah, this community is laser oh focused. God. This is at this is my chat at its best though. Like this is this is it. When we're just having fun and they're just like making, you know, funny fucking memes like and they're rapid firing. <laughs> it's like a gangbang cream pie. The more gangbang cream pies a male human participates in, the more likely he used to have DNA related offspring. What? Yes. What? That's correct. What do you mean? You think like when when there's like someone getting fucking uh, cream pied by like multiple dudes at the same time, the cums 
Well, I guess the cummies are competing against one I'm another. It's not about... like they're merging with one another and then, you know, becoming like one big super sperm. Are we talking about bed bugs? No, we're talking about humans now. Oh. There are lots of animals that have penises that are shaped to scrape out pe feeding semen. Duck. duck Dogs. Penises, dog penises are pretty, pretty normal. For the I thought animals. dog penises like latch on too. Or is might, it do the... dogs have barbed penises? Cats do. I don't know if dogs do. Maybe. No, they don't. Humans. Humans have a very boring penis compared to other things. Is the real field of study sperm competition? Chat, duck penises, everybody thinks of the corkscrew. It's not, that's not a true penis. This is, by the way, this is straight up a Joe Rogan conversation. Like, classic Joe Roganism. Yeah, you know, like, in the gorillas, like, gorillas actually have, like, you know, really tiny dicks, but big ass balls. Because, like, you know, they're, they're not really competing for uh, sexual partners on the virtue of their dicks. Like, they're competing because, like, the alpha male is pre-established by physicality. That's true. Dogs don't have spiked penises, but they swell up and the dogs get stuck together for a bit. Yeah, I thought, I thought like you have to throw, people throw like hot water at the dogs to like stop them from fucking, no? What? I've never heard that. It's like some Turkish shit. No, but. There's duck penises, it's not a penis. It's not a true penis, but they have a corkscrew and then the female uh, has opposite threading. So they get, that's what they do. You know crows can say words, right? Wait, no shot. Are we just doing Good burp buddy. talk? Good morning. How are you? How are you? Shut the fuck up. No shot. Actually, no shot. I have a video. If a crow fucking talks to me like that, we're throwing hands. You want to hear it? And the crow will probably win because they can use tools. They can. They're very smart. Um, We had two ravens at the zoo I used to work at. Uh-huh. And one of them... It's actually crazy because it doesn't matter. It obviously, it doesn't matter if they're male or female, but they pick up. Crows are better than parrots because crows will pick up like tones of voices and <sighs> people's voices, whereas parrots just sound like a parrot. You know, they're like, meh, meh, whatever. But ravens, we had two ravens, and one picked up the voice of my friend, and the other picked up the voice of her father. I have a video of the raven, which is super cute, my friend. Is it on a social media platform? Mm -mm. I can send it to you on Discord or on Twitter. Send it to me on Twitter and I'll pull it up. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, you know, crows freak me the fuck out a little bit. They're too smart. Doing it, it just always feels like... It's a bad video. Whenever I, whenever I see why, is the crow saying a slur? You gotta get out of your head, Hassan. Why? Why, TJ Tanner? We're having such a good moment. And we're, we're just vibing, and then you destroy the trust. The delicate bond between the streamer and his trust is broken. Irreparably broken, okay? Irreparably broken. Take an hour off. Can you rap? No. Come on, throw some, spit some bars right now. Spit some, you Come on, spit you're, some you're bars. from California. I mean, you, you know how to fucking spit bars. You spit bars. I can't, I can't rap. Me neither. No, I'm like physically incapable. My Yakubian genetics stop me from being able to rap appropriately. Oh I sang the video. I don't, I've never rapped ever. This is Cracker Gate 2.0. What? <laughs> Hassan says shameful, uh, <laughs> Hassan Piker, anti-white racist, says white people can't rap because of their genetic inferiority. Clearly, this is another white supremacist or anti-white, you know, POC supremacist attitude. I don't even know what the terms are for it. Sorry. No, you're good. You can like really easily farm clips though, as long as you like disagree with me right now. Oh. Everyone in LSF will just be like, oh my god, Maya, so based, you know? I think he's dumb, and I- Oh shit! I think he's racist. And then everyone's like- <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for saying what no one has said. No one was- everyone was afraid to say it, and you said it. Did you send me the video? Okay, let's take a look. It's a bad video. 
Okay, but let me ask just, you a question. It shows like how low his voice is. Or her voice. No, his voice. Hold on, I got I got something for you. Morning, buddy. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Come on out. That's crazy. That's just unacceptable. Um it's like if if a crow came up to me and fucking said, How are you? I'd be like, it's over. It's done. I'm gonna die. Like, Odin has cursed me. That's what I would think to myself. <laughs> Look at this. I just saw that. Look at this. Bro. Wait, well, I wasn't gonna say anything because I didn't want to embarrass you. <laughs> well, it, a Amaranth is coming. Uh, yes. Not not today, but uh, she's coming and we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do together. Wait, how do I fucking... I can't show the, the, the DMs. Wait, maybe if I do this. Oh, fuck. I can't play it off Twitter. Boomer. Hi. Wait, what do you mean, boomer? Embarrassing. Uh, you just did it. Just full screen it. I mean, okay. Leak our DMs. It's not just our DMs. There's a lot of DMs. Leak all of your DMs, pussy. Okay, here. It's that. Hi. That was it. It was just at the beginning. Hi. Wait, Here, that's it? It's him saying hey. Who's <laughs> hey? He's saying hey. That's crazy. Almost wow. leaked the entirety Hi, of my DMs for that. <laughs> By the way, another video of talking animals. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these cats are fucking sick, dude. Yo, is it, what is that? What, what kind of cat is it? Striker the cat? What kind of cat is this? Is it a, it's not a serval. It's a serval? Is no. It? I don't know. Bengal? What? People are just making shit up. Ocelot? <gasps> Revolver Ocelot. These cats are very good at using guns. By the way, I love your nails. I've been meaning to tell you that since we went to dinner. Thank you. With uh, after the fucking uh, cutie thing. They Thank look you. very good. They're Easter nails. Yeah, they're dope. They're show, show them to the chat. Chat. Wow, nails. I need like I need that kind of variety on my on my nail game. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. Savannah half serval, half domestic. Okay. They piss all over everything. I mean, I feel like that's just, you know, that's a L you gotta take as a cat owner, regardless, right? Like cats just like pissing shit. I guess not. You can train them. But cats just think they own everything. They cost like 10k. Can have a million of them then. Yeah. Wait, isn't that one of those cats that could just like straight up eat you? And uh, felines are like actually like if they were capable of eating you, they would. I don't know if it would actually consume you, unless, but that could it could kill you, of course. This cat could kill you. Why the fuck would you have a cat that could kill you in your house? Smart man. That's dogs, dude. Typical cat cuck. Okay. Typical cat cuck, okay? You are, you got toxioplasmosis up the wazoo. <clears throat> and now you think, now you think like, yeah, dogs do that. Why would you have a dog that can kill you? I love dogs, but the same applies. First of all, the likelihood of a dog murdering you, their owner, is significantly lower than a likelihood of a cat that could murder you. Cats literally attack their owners Wait, all the time. You think someone's gonna die via cat attack? Domestic cat via- Yeah, a domesticated cat is tiny. A domesticated cat is tiny and therefore can't kill you okay. because it's tiny. But if they if they were larger, I feel like it would fucking pounce on you and oh, fuck okay. your shit up. So we are in agreement then. Okay, argument, well, I won that one. that's also a weird- You lost that argument. Hold the L. No, because- Hold the cell. Dogs are, dogs are you domesticated. Go. You're talking a big cat. You're talking a wild cat, obviously. That's gonna be different. Well, I mean, cats are not domesticated thing. either, though. Like domestic cats are domesticated. But like, they're still not domesticated in the same way that like dogs are. Yes, they are. You can't release a domestic cat into the wild and then expect like it, it to the survive. difference between an indoor cat and outdoor cat is that what you're saying? No, indoor cats and outdoor cats are all domestic cats. They're not the same as like Fisher cats, sand cats, whatever. Like they're they're not they're wild counterparts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure, for sure. But like, I feel like a. Cat, I'm making him look stupid right now. I I I feel like no no we're we're gonna come to an agreement here right now right. 
which uh, when I ask you this question, wouldn't you say that like a cat could live outside away from their owner in a city or whatever the fuck, whereas a dog cannot because a dog is like even more domesticated and more reliant on human beings for survival uh, than cats are. Like cats are more independent. I thought that was the whole point of why people get cats because they like a, you know, independent animal. But it doesn't make it any less domestic that they can survive outside. If they're domesticated, it's a species, speciation. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're, okay, I understand. You're, you're obviously, now, here, you're correct. Take it back. Okay, I took it. Okay, it's, I'll hold that out. I mean, you're, this is why I brought you on. You're the expert. There are feral dogs and feral cats all the time. Um, feral does not equal not domesticated. Tame does not equal domestication. Okay, that's, okay, so cats are less tame than dogs though, right? Some cats, some dogs are less tame than cats. If you were to look at averages, would you say the average cat is more likely to be tame or the average dog is more likely to be tame? Probably the average dog. There you go. Hold the L. Back to you. <laughs> what? That's it. I won the argument. That was my point. That was what I was trying to say. Damn. She, she got it. Yeah. This okay. is, we're, we're sexist too. We're anti-white racist. Oh God. We're anti-white racist and sexist and you know, you're half white. So that's why. Happy to be here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Feline racism? Oh, dude, I, oh, no. I do, I do. I think cats are like, like they act like their shit don't stink. You know what I mean? It pisses me off a little bit. It's like, how dare you? Like, know your place, cat. Okay, you're a cat. I'm a human. I'm a big cat fan. Wow. All you right, know what's then. better than cats and dogs? What? Ferrets. Ferrets? I got two ferrets. I love them. They're the best. They're the best. Just curious, have you ever met a nice cat? Well, we're gonna look up for ferrets in a second. You seem to be really biased. Aren't you supposed to be the voice of reason? I'm out of here. Yeah, Tom the Cat Man. I wonder <laughs> why. I wonder why this is the moment that a 50 month subscriber is like, I'm out of here. You seem not biased at all. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like cats. They they go at their own speed and I don't like that. I love like the the you loyalty like and companionship. Being dependent on you. I like the loyalty and companionship that a dog offers. Yeah. It seems like a little red flaggy. You are you saying that <laughs> dog people <laughs> have red their red flag? Yeah, because you want to be dependent. because because I don't care about like having another roommate that is like furry and shits everywhere. Okay, I already have Marat. And he doesn't I shit every. Him a lot. No, he's the man. He was but the best. I'm just making a joke. But like, he's so smart. I already have. I already have a big hairy cat that comes in here and like acts like he owns the house, and like you know uses the garage, leaves his tools everywhere. Like I don't need to get a cat for that. Whereas with a dog, it's like yeah, the dog is dependent on you, but like you know the dog loves you and you love the dog. I don't know. Admit you're scared of independence. No, I, in my relationships, I look for cat-like uh, uh, people, for sure. But when it comes to, like, an animal that I'm going to take care of, I'd rather... The ferrets are the way to go. If they're legal in your state. They're not legal in a lot of states. Cats are an exercise in consent? Yeah, it, yeah, a consent with a psycho uh, that can literally flip it on you at any given moment. Dude, why are you... Cat owners literally act like they're held hostage by their animals, which is very weird. It's like... Bro, you are the human, okay, in that dynamic. Just remember that. Cat owners, I'm talking to you, okay? You are the human in that relationship. Species supremacy, red flag. Oh, for sure. I'm okay, non vegan uh, conservationist. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no. You want to open up that oh, can of fucking no. worms in this chat of all chats? Come for me. Oh, they will, which I support you, obviously, but, you know, they will come for you. You are a species as well. I am a species. Yeah, speciest. Yeah. 100%. You can't be vegan, uh, or you can't be non-vegan and not be a species. Well, but that's not true. If you're not a species and you're non-vegan, that means you like literally eat all animals. You're just like, F them. Well, well, I mean, technically, even including humans. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's very, oh God, this is scary. I'm very scared. Um, I don't, I don't think that's being, Speciest or whatever word you just said. I, I think that like... Speciest. 
it's not like oh like i'm gonna i'm gonna eat this animal because fuck this thing i'm better it's it's just it's just a dietary choice i don't know i don't think that there's an inherent or like innately a problem with consuming animal products i think there's a problem with the industrial agricultural system I agree with you on that for so I, sure. I think that if you're responsible about how you consume your animal products, then you don't have a problem. It can even be a good thing. Um, but it's a conversation I have a lot on my stream. Oh, I'm sure. Got to see what Austinox said. Admit he looks for cat-like women in relationships. Won't stop blasting C-Mac for looking for dog-like companionship. She does more than you ever will. You have no high ground. Wait, I, I agree. Wait, what? I don't, I'm not discounting Get her. Get fucked, work. loser. Even your VIPs think I'm better. No, that's that's my uh, famous vegan uh, editor, Austin Ox, but. Oh. No, I, I, I don't disagree with that. I completely agree with it, everything that Austin Ox said and what you said as well, obviously. Chat, I am an agriculture major. I have a, a BS in agriculture. Hell yeah. List of fatal dog attacks in the United States. Cats don't even have an article. Pago. Also, no cat has ever been a cop. That's true. Cats do have that one pro. They're not cops. There's no fucking police cats. They are kind of anarchist. That's true. I, I agree with that. That's definitely a big dub. Okay. I do love this kind of cat, though, even though I'm terrified of it. Like, one thing I love with dogs is that you can wrestle them, right? Like, yeah. I wrestle I wrestle with fish all the time. Like, I, I feel like if you get, like, a big burly dog, like, you can set the boundaries, and then you can play with them and wrestle with them and stuff like that. This cat would kill me. This cat would be like, oh, are we wrestling? I thought I got a concussion once from a serval. Yeah, they were just, like, slit my throat. No, they just, they swat really hard. We were working with a serval. We were training her to, to hit a lure. She could hit a lure, like... At least 12 feet up. I mean, they can jump like that's terrifying. Business. It's terrifying. But she swatted me one day in the head and she, they whack. I mean, it's no joke. There are police cats. What? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a station cat? That doesn't count, dude. We're talking about like a cat that actually has utility other than like make cops feel better about She's them. working. Police cats have a real job. Tizer was a rescue active cat whose duty. owner had died when an inspector with a local police department saw him. He decided that Tizer was fit for active duty. His original plan was to turn oh. the cat loose around, keep the station population of mice under control. What he didn't realize was Tizer would end up offering a tremendous amount of stress relief. Oh man, oh, he, they, they, give, they give cats, uh, they give cops stress relief. That's even worse than a police dog. What's wrong with police dogs? We just, you know, we're, we're, I love dogs. It's just, you know, police dogs are kind of up <laughs> not kind of up oh my god do you not know about this no okay so first of all police dogs are bullshit okay that doesn't mean that like dogs don't have an incredible sense of smell or anything like that or could have utility in like sniffing out bombs and shit like that they certainly can't right but police dogs in the united states of america are absolutely utilized to override uh any sort of like a, a, sent, a search and seizure uh, protection afforded to you by the constitution so if they stop you, for example, with uh, any sort of unreasonable suspicion, let's say you're driving on a highway in California near a border, okay, and uh, you it's daylight, uh, and and they you look Mexican, right? You look Guatemalan, whatever. They can stop you, and they can't just stop you for that reason, right? Mm -hmm. Like Customs and Border Patrol can't stop you for that reason. But what they'll do is they'll stop you, and then they'll like have a conversation with you. And they can call a police dog if you uh, decline to allow them to search your vehicle, right? If they want to continue the detainment, um, they will bring in a police dog. In most instances, they use that to like basically engage in a war of attrition of sorts where they want to exhaust you and fuck your day up until you just say, all right, search my car, who cares? Which was declared unconstitutional, but they can still use a police dog to come and look at your car and smell your car and they have a tell like usually trainers will train their police dogs to act like they saw something um act like you know they saw something or smelled something in the car in an effort to basically override uh search and seizure uh, rules oh well if that's the case that's fine. i think it's 80 percent of like uh instances where a police dog has been used has been found to be like a uh, completely erroneous ridiculous uh search what and about seizure cadaver dogs? yeah 70 to 80 percent false positive rate yeah Cadaver dogs are good. 
right? What do they do? Are oh, the they find, find search and yeah. uh, rescue. Yeah, yeah. Those dogs are sick. Yeah. Is this a conspiracy theory? No, they have a 80% false positivity rate. It's not a conspiracy theory. And also the first part about it that I mentioned is like literally declared unconstitutional because they used to make you wait like two hours for a dog to come over. Cancel Paw Patrol. Fuck Paw Patrol. Yeah. Anyway, police dogs have been used as torture methods where they sick them on you and sit there watching as it bites you. That's another thing that they do as well. Like they did to straight up Democracy Now's Amy Goodman who was like a 60 year old uh, incredible journalist who was at uh, North Dakota Access Pipeline protest a couple years back. And the, the, the off duty cops and on duty cops actually that were hired by the pipeline literally sick their police dogs on these protesters and they bit them. Mm. Yeah. Also cops kill 14 dogs a day, I think in the United States of America, something along that. What do you mean kill them? Oh, cops love killing dogs. What? What? You didn't. He's, you're learning so much. The Puppy Side Database oh, I Project. Oh, they're their own dogs. You just no. mean they kill people's dogs? Yeah. Yeah. When they when they break into your house and you have a dog, they just shoot your dog in the face. Yeah, I have heard that. Ten k per year, thirty dogs a day or something. My dog was literally killed by a police officer. I'm not kidding. I was twelve. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Oh, here, our dog, our dogs never dogs incorrect 75% of the time. Look at his. <laughs> Drug sniffer dogs don't work. Drug sniffer dogs are incorrect 75% of the time and can cause harm. Panic upon seeing the dogs can lead to people consuming all their drugs at once, increasing risk of overdose. Anyway, look at this bodega cat. That's weird. That's a weird cat. I'm sorry. I feel like that cat is like peeking into my soul. I see that cat staring at me while I'm trying to drink. I'll be like, nah, I'm out of here. Fuck this. Bro, that cat is not looking at, that cat's not looking at you. That cat is looking inside of you, okay? That cat is looking at you with intent. Possibly intent to murder. What do you think? Probably not, but there's something weird going yeah, on. Yeah, your cat supremacy is fine. Yeah, I... typical, typical cat cuck. I don't even know that I, I, I don't even know if, no, I don't know. Cats over dogs, I don't know. They're pretty close for me. I love them both. I think I might be the only Turkish person who is like, like kind of afraid like i wouldn't say i'm afraid of cats but i'm like i keep them at a distance i'm like what are you afraid of what animal hit him with the floyd mayweather shoulder you're afraid of spiders what you're, I'm afraid, you're afraid of spiders no snakes uh i mean they fascinate me but it's also like kind of weird when like like a girl has like a, a lot of snakes like i find it really weird Why? you're in the, you're in a different Why? you're you're a conservationist it doesn't matter you have a lot of animals but like i don't know there's like like Susu, for example, she has like, like 25 uh, uh, tarantulas and shit. Okay. And for me, I'm a bigot and I'm closed minded. So when I see a girl have that, I'm like, that's, I'm scared of that person. Wait, so what animal are you like afraid of? Do you have one? Not really. I love animals overall. Oh, oh, oh yeah, sea creatures. Oh, octopus, octopi, octopus. Pretty scary. So terrifying. There's a cephalopod that has a detachable penis. Yeah, the see, that's unnatural. That's ungodly. It's we should kill wild. them all. Well. Chat, detachable penis. There's a there's a extra tentacle that fills with semen once it's inserted into the female. Why do you know so much about animal dicks, dude? I just recently learned about them. <laughs> um, it, it detaches from the male. Crazier? You wanna know another one? Yeah. Sea slugs inseminate each other via forehead. 
they summon each other's It's kind of beautiful. Because they're hermaphrodites, which means they're male and female at the same time, right? But evolutionarily, they want to play the male role because that means that they can spread more of their genetics faster, easier, more efficiently, whatever. So they uh, inseminate each other in the forehead and their semen contains a neurochemical and semen, or the ejaculate contains a neurochemical and semen. Uh, and it gets the fem the other one that was stabbed or foreheaded to, to play the, the female role. This is a deep sea octopus. A little Dumbo octopus? Yeah, I love these. These are the only octopus that I don't like. I don't mind. Like, I'll, I'll, I fuck with this one. It's really cute. I'll, I'll pet this thing, maybe. Actually, probably not. Eels are terrifying. Most things that are inside of the water are fucking terrifying to me, especially because, like, I can't see it. You ever seen a cuttlefish? No. C U T T L E fish. They're really cute and really interesting. Oh, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's still fucked up, I think. You don't think it's, it's cute? Not for me, no. Well, that's not a very cute picture. Oh, there's okay. Some, oh, oh, oh. this is the ugly one. Let's yeah, find a some, handsome one instead. There's some cuter pictures of it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just, like, doesn't even look like a fish. I don't know what it is. It's not. It's a cephalopod, I think. Okay, whatever. It's same. If it's in the water, it's fish the, for me, okay? That's... The, the, you, you, yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> 100 percent i'm a stupid person search for cuttlefish babies i eat most of these sea creatures so i don't fear them i don't also eat any seafood so that's another reason really? i think yeah but i i wish i could so i could kill more of them you didn't eat any of those mussels yesterday or no yesterday? no they were really good no mussels also just like they eat poop on the bottom of rocks and shit don't they like a poop eating <laughs> i don't know what they eat <laughs> wait your grandpa hates liberals Okay, next Tell question. Dazrit3 said, does he think he could take an emu in a one-to-one -one bare knuckle fist? Oh my god, no shot. Emu would fuck him up. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to skip through it. It's like an ostrich. Oh, oh. I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't. No. I, I couldn't either. I could. The Crane TV said, does Wait, he eat you think you could fuck up an emu? Emus can disembowel you. Straight up. Yeah, you you had that. What was the bird you had? Was that an emu? Stompy. Yeah, I remember. It was like kind of scary when I met your Stompy. Oh, you should see her now. Oh my God, she was like, <laughs> like she was like, she was on high alert. You know what I mean? She was just like, she's as tall. What's up? Me. What'd you yeah. say to me? And I was like, I'm so sorry. I respect you. You guys took over the entire continent of Australia. You know. I don't want to fuck around. I'm sorry. Yeah, straight Velociraptor shit. Okay. She's, she's my height now. I thought you loved you all animals. Continue their journey yeah, but I love Africa birds. Or Europe. That's kind of weird. What? The Quran. Birds are like, you know, dinosaurs. He literally just sat down. <laughs> he just sat down. I told him when he walked away, I was like, Chad, we're gonna we're gonna watch this whole video just all the way through. It's gonna no be shot. So fun. I'll never I'll never let that happen. <laughs> birds are dinosaurs, that's right. Yeah, this, it scares me. I mean, some I... birds are genuinely very scary and really dangerous. Wait, really? Like what? A harpy eagle. What the f Shoot that sounds off. insane. Show me a harpy eagle right now. Look up. H A R P Y. I know how to spell harpy. Whoa! Okay, that shit, you can't fuck with that. Bro, look at this eagle. Like, this eagle yeah, literally is just like, I will kill you. Look at that. Look at this foot. Oh, look at how big that thing is! Look at his foot! It's huge. They eat, they can eat monkeys. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks like an island boy. It's an island eagle. Island boy. Uh. Anyway, okay, that's like, yeah, this would f me up. Shoebill stork. Is that a dangerous one too? Um, it's scary. I You're telling know. me all the animals to. I mean, these are not gonna be around here, so. Oh right. Oh! <laughs> Yo! Shut the f up! <laughs> Yo, this thing looks like an animatronic, dude. I don't know. You should hear it. It looks like he's about to sing a song to me at Chuck E. Cheese. Its vocalizations are wild. Oh, look at the eyes. <laughs> oh, dude. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's... Oh, that's nasty as fuck, dude. <laughs> Bro, look at this. 
Look at the. It looks like it killed and it will do it again. Like this bird is literally like it, it's saying, "I have killed, and the taste of flesh now haunts me." I like him. Yo, you see this thing in the dark? It's over. Like I'm dying from a heart attack, and then it's eating me. <laughs> yeah, it's giving you the the Kubrick stare, dude. Look up, look up, bearded vulture. Okay, these That's the are the last one. They they just look kind of dragony. I don't think now I know scary. now I know why she's a bird simp. Okay, I literally was like, oh, this one's regal. Uh, Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, I literally was like, yeah, which birds are dangerous? And she could only name three. Oh, that's it. There's only three birds. Oh, I could name many more. That's what I'm saying. Birds. You're you're a simp. That's why you because you're hiding how dangerous birds are. I'm not. Birds are dangerous as fuck. <laughs> birds are so dangerous. Oh, birds don't fuck around. Birds of prey are scary. Bone eating bearded vulture. Yeah, vultures have like very, very, very acidic stomachs. They can digest everything. Incredible. They are nature's garbage disposal. They clean up everything. Oh, we got a guest. Metal AF. You know what's more metal about these birds? A lot of these old world vultures, one of their defense mechanisms is vomiting. Bro, I think you broke it. Oh, it worked. They eat dead things, right? Including the bones, including everything. Digest everything. And then, in defense, they will throw it all up. It's the most vile smell I've ever experienced in my whole life. Was vulture vomit. 10 reasons why this bird is a threat to my mental health. Oh, I love this dude. He's a Rutgers grad. Number one, they clap crocodiles for fun and they do not apologize for it. And like a true predator. What? They kill crocodiles you know how they grab it and then they go wah, 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 like on a log until it dies that is the most psychotic oh, yo what's up hey. no nice what? mclaren what oh what? shut up okay <laughs> dude oh screw this i'm gonna go watch you on youtube i'm gonna go watch you on youtube i'm gonna go watch you on youtube hey if you like this video please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos <laughs>